All right, so this morning uh, we're getting ready to take a uh, client call. This particular client is out of town. There's a lot of weddings that I do. Um, I don't meet the client till the day of the wedding because they live out of town. They came here for usually for a vacation. They saw a place that they like. They love it here in the summertime. And so they want to get married here but they're trying to plan their whole wedding from far away. So uh, this morning, uh, I'm gonna show you guys how we take a call with a client How are you guys doing today? Hopefully you guys have a nicer weather down there. Sorry about the confusion. I thought you guys were in Chicago. Um, Derek sent me a couple clients that were like all over the place this week. So trying to sort all that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Definitely. Are you from uh, Oregon though? Yes, I live in Portland. I am about 20 minutes away from the winery. Oh, nice. Very nice. So when, um, when are you guys coming up here? Are you guys just not coming up to like right before the wedding or? So we are going to come up probably a couple times. So I, uh, I am from Oregon. So my parents live in Lake Oswego okay. and Matt actually is from France, I guess, just to give a little bit of background. Okay. So half the people at our wedding are going to be French. Sounds good. Not half, I should say. So some won't be speaking uh, so much English, I guess, is just the background. Okay. But I plan on coming up multiple times uh, before the wedding uh, just to help plan and everything. Um, we've already been up a couple times, but... I'm sure we'd be up there. You yeah, know. We'll, we'll definitely be up there a few weekends before, before the wedding, for sure. Okay, and then what I can do is I can come out there with you guys and kind of go over a layout of where things are going to be um, mm -hmm. when, you, when you guys come up there. So just kind of let me know. Yeah, no, Let me definitely. know when you guys want. Um, I do about five weddings there a summer, so I'm very, very familiar with the place and the different locations and like the different setups and the it's pretty unique the way that they kind of do things out there so I can give you um, different ideas and examples of stuff to do um, at that particular venue. Awesome yeah Derek said that he was friends with you so that's why he was the one that gave us your number. <laughs> so we're really happy that you're available that day. We're hoping that so I'm sure you already know this but they're in construction of building that indoor uh, basically the reception area, right? Yes, yes. Um, so it's under construction right now. So we are hoping, we talked to Derek, and we're hoping to have, um, we're hoping to get married outside, actually, mm -hmm. and then have the reception all indoor, so have all of the tables in that new space that he's creating. Yes. Um, and so we're actually hoping to dance inside as well. Um, I know in the videos you sent over, it's all outside dancing, kind of by over by like the barrels, right? Yes, because that's um, um, the facility's not done yet, so that will be something new. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. So I just um, I wanted to just mention that to you in advance that that's where we're hoping to set up, and I know it's pretty new, but I don't want you to be surprised when we say that we want it to be inside. No, no, no. Um, a lot of my weddings that I'm doing there this summer are. Um, starting to be for planning on the inside. Um, yeah, as soon as that place actually gets done, he's hiring me to come out there and do um, videography for him of the whole new uh, place for his website. So, as soon as it gets done, I'm nice. sure. So, I'm, so, as soon as it gets done, I'm sure I'm gonna be one of the the first ones to go out there and, and see it. So um, let's kind of touch base of what we kind of talked about already um, with people. Yeah. I usually do all the emceeing at my events, but I have done mm -hmm. uh, multicultural weddings before, and I've had it where some where I would make an announcement and somebody else would have to make announcements too, so everybody else would kind of know that does not speak English um, can be accommodated, so they kind of know what's going on. 
Um, if that's something that you need, that's Good. that's totally cool. I have, and I have two different microphones, so I can speak on one, and then it's not like they have to come up to my DJ table every time, but as soon as I make an announcement, then they know somebody else can also make an announcement too. So um, that's something that awesome. I, I ran into too. And also if there's songs and music, um, pretty much if it's on iTunes or uh, YouTube, I can get it. But a lot of times I'll get like a wedding, they're like, here's all our songs that we want. This, like this summer I did a Greek wedding and I had no idea what these songs were but they're like here we want these played throughout the night so i can incorporate that and i'll go like back and forth between cultural music and american music so you guys just kind of let me know how you guys want to do that and then i'll give you my like feedback from like past weddings of how that works if that makes sense yeah yeah no that's totally great that was my thing you were hoping for just because i, I we want to make uh, the people coming from france feel at at home. Well, I don't, kind of. I don't want to well, we don't we don't want we don't want too much French music, but we do want the ability like we are totally um fine like for you to MC it and everything. Mm -hmm. And so it would just be nice if someone could also speak it in French because otherwise they'll have no idea what you're saying. Yeah. Right. Don't look at me. I'm sorry. Um, I don't I don't speak French. So you guys will have to have somebody. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's fine. Most, exactly. most of them will have some notion English, but. Uh, not necessarily, they're going to be fluid. The arms open to us giving you song requests. Yes. And we'll go over, yeah. um, I actually don't talk about any music in any of these, these meetings until uh, okay. as we're getting close, but I'm going to show you some helpful okay. tools that I have that you guys can have. And that's why I asked you to be kind of uh, by a computer so I can kind of walk you through uh, some of the stuff. I, I'm using a wedding coordinator as well, and I think she just wanted to verify that you would do the music for the ceremony as well as the reception. Yes, and so what I have is no matter where you have the, recep uh, the reception, I have actually two completely different setups. And so mm, okay. my ceremony setup um, comes with speakers and lapel mics and a wireless microphone. So I will put a um, microphone on the officiant um, or the minister mm -hmm. of whoever's uh, during your guys' wedding and then the groom. So that way I have two forms of audio for you guys. Um, so if one happens to go out, then I pick up the other one. You really only need one, but I have a backup just in case. So. I will play uh, music like 30 minutes before the ceremony actually starts. So as people are sitting down and then when you guys walk up, I'll play all the songs for that and then your guys' exit song. And then that way I can go directly into the other room and start playing um, music for you guys' cocktail hour. We have the venue from 1 to 10. Mm -hmm. And we are probably looking because we are September 30th. So it's kind of later, or, well, heading into fall, so it gets darker early. Mm -hmm. So I think what we're going to try to do is have our ceremony any time between the four to five time range. Okay. Um, hasn't, been, hasn't been confirmed yet, but just giving you an idea, it will probably be within the four to 5.30 time range somewhere in between there and we're hoping not to have too long of a ceremony I would say 30 minutes maximum is kind of what we're looking for with that um, we don't have that nailed down yet but I think that's what Matt and I both want so I wouldn't expect it to be more than 30 minutes um, yeah no I mean yeah. most ceremonies are 10 to like 20 minutes long unless there's a lot of prayers and, and people saying a lot of things it usually goes um, pretty quick so this is where I say, yes, say so that's probably more like our last <laughs> Yeah. So is your guys' first event going to be the ceremony? Are you guys going to do a cocktail hour before the ceremony? No. Uh, okay. No, we are not doing a cocktail hour before, um, mostly because so at the winery there's only a, so much time that people can Correct. be drinking on the property. Yeah, that's that's why so I said Oswego Hills is, is different yeah. than, than most places. So that's why I like to ask those questions. So when I meet with most yeah. clients, they want to do the ceremony around five. And what I tell them mm -hmm. is 
So if you do the ceremony at five o'clock, you guys have to be out of there by 10. That's the five, you know, mm -hmm. that's the five hours. But if you have yeah. any kind of catering that's late, um, guests that are late to get there, most weddings, a ceremony usually starts 15 to 30 minutes behind just to begin with. Then if you have anything mm -hmm. else, it's like you're pushing back time. And it's not like you can just extend it out. It's, you know, 10 o'clock is the cutoff. So I tell people more times to put it more towards the four o'clock range. So that way, if mm -hmm. it does go longer, stuff does take longer, you have a little bit more time on the back end. Does that make sense? Yeah. So yeah, let's like tell people to just like, you, you, you guys can start your wedding whenever you want. I'll be there whenever you guys tell me to, but I just tell mm -hmm. people like stuff kind of, it's easier to take stuff off than try to add stuff to a timeline. So if you can think about that kind of stuff, especially when it comes to like pictures, when you're trying to get like one family and somebody's missing, then we got to wait. And so sometimes pictures take longer. Um, so just all these different variables that can affect, um, you know, your timeline. I just want you guys to kind of know about and kind of take into consideration before you guys send out your, your invitations. No, definitely. Thank you so much for saying that. No, yeah. we, we appreciate any input you have. <laughs> okay. Got it. Okay. And see at the very, very top, it says, how long is a wedding reception? Yes. So click on that. Mm-hmm. And then down is a detailed list of all the events that happen at a wedding in chronological order. Um, you guys can do it in any order you guys want, but this is traditionally how it happens. And it tells a detailed description of what happens during each event and what goes on during those events. Mm -hmm. And the time left over for dancing. Mm -hmm. So when it comes okay. to building like a timeline of how long everything um, should last and take, this this will give you an idea of of that. No, that sounds good. Wow. <laughs> and now, if you go back to back the the page that you were just on, and then on the right hand panel, there is a button that says online planning. Okay. Uh, hold on just a second. No worries. Yes. Yeah. Okay, at first there's a video, so everything that we're going to talk about is in that video. But if you scroll okay. down and it says view planning form demo. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Got it. Yep. if you become one of my clients, I give you a login and you get these forms and it lets you kind of build your wedding. So the first part, the first box is just kind of basic information that I need to know. Um, and then under okay. it says like cocktail music, yes or no, dinner music, yes or no, uh, introductions is the grand entrance. Um, so you kind of tell me like cocktail music, this is the type of music that I want. Dinner music, this is the type of music. You don't have to pick out, you know, songs. You just give me a general. It's kind of like when you go into Starbucks and you hear the background music. You don't know what song it is, but it's so it's not dead silence. So um, cocktail yeah, is usually a little nice. bit more up tempo. Um, dinner is a little bit uh, softer, a little bit mellower. And then so you got like the cutting of the cake and all the different dances and you kind of tell me what songs you want and if there's any events that you want to skip, you just say no. And then any other information that I need to know, you can put down in the box. And then if at the very bottom, you can print them out, you can save them, and then um, a week before the wedding, so that Monday, I ask that you submit them. So you have pretty much until up to the wedding that Monday to um, wow. okay. to submit everything. So I give my each of my clients, like that week is dedicated to their wedding. I don't do anything else. Oh, that's very nice. So let's go back one button. And then if you scroll down a little bit more, it says view event timeline demo. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so you see a box that says it select, you select what time. So you can select four o'clock to start the ceremony, and then you, um, there's a, um, a menu, drop down menu, and then you select what event you want to do. And then you select that event, and then you push the plus arrow, 
um, and that this way you can build your timeline. You can su submit it to me and you know the wedding coordinator. Um, you don't have to use this timeline. If your coordinator does one for you, I can go off that too. But these are just tools to kind of help you along. And this is where the other page that says how long everything takes will help you build this timeline. But then when it comes to your actual event, I'll stick to the order of these, but times, you know, kind of, you know, switch around depending on how long everything takes. And I try to go to my best ability to keep everything kind of on schedule. Nice. Yeah, this is a very helpful. Yeah, we are using a wedding coordinator, uh, Carolyn O'Brien. And so she will probably help us with this timeline, but we would definitely submit it to you. Okay. And, so. we, and we probably could definitely submit it in this electronic format or at least by email. Yeah, at least if I have that. Because sometimes like I get a, a timeline from a coordinator and most coordinators are super, super detail oriented. <laughs> and it's like from like the first dance to the second dance, they're like, they enter the dance floor, they exit the dance floor, like there's so many details. And I'm just like, they have <laughs> not really anything to do with me. And it's very, very hard for me to fo like follow along yeah. with what's going on. So if you go to the next link down, it says music request demo. Okay. And at the very, very top, Got there's it. three tabs that say load list. And there's one that says most requested. Click on that. Okay. And then this brings up the top oh, 200 wow. songs that happen at a wedding. And so you can build a playlist from this. Um, when you're logged into your account, there'll be like a plus arrow. So you can uh, log in. Got it. That's very nice. So, awesome. the, so where it says top 200 overall, if you do the drop down menu and you see, uh, click on, let's say, Mother Son, because that's a hard dance to pick out. This will give you... Oh, wow. A list of like here's the top songs for each of those dances so any wow. any any kind of event that has a song related to it you can click on these menus and then um, it just makes it a lot easier when it comes to selecting you know a song for sure for sure yeah so that that is um, a helpful tool, and so there's a part where it says client login. On if you go to the very, the home page, uh, it will say like uh, home okay. past weddings reviews, client login, and then so what you would do here is you would select your date, and then I would send you a password, and you pretty much that's how you log in, and you get a copy of all those forms. Perfect. And then, so, it. and then so what you can do is you can make a, um, a request list of must plays and like songs if there's any songs that you don't want played. Oh, okay. Sounds good. And then the other thing that's really, really big that Derek has me do a lot of, I think almost every single wedding they've had them, if you go under services and you scroll down to lighting. Yes. And it's called uh, uplighting that I do a lot of. So you see the images that scroll across the top. Um, Got, th it. Those, Got it. Those those are what uplights uh, look like. And then if you go down, scroll down a little bit. There's a video, and there's a bunch of clips from Oswego Hills in there of kind of what uplighting looks like. And a lot of times um, we'll do them in that room. We'll light up the room but the high traffic areas kind of just outside too will light up for like your older guests walking in and out. So in that, oh, okay. so if you click on that video, you'll see um, over where the restrooms are, we put like up lights and stuff like that. And it is single handedly like the biggest thing that will change the look of a room as far as like decorations go. So, and that's something we can discuss um, as we get closer to the wedding, because I know a lot of things happen, come up. Um, so, I actually don't like require you to tell me like, hey, if we want up lights or how many up lights um, beforehand until like that Monday. So, I know people like, I want this, 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 and then as it gets closer to your wedding, that you know things come up and you know have to fly people in and stuff like that. So, you guys just kind of let me know. Well, awesome. Well, thank you so much for having this phone call with us. Yeah. Do you guys have any other questions? So the only question I have, so you already 
gave us a quote, I yeah. believe, through your website. Yes. Or at least I think you did. Um, I guess I would say that quote is pretty accurate, I guess. We wouldn't be expecting any surprises. No. So in that package, it is uh, eleven ninety five for the five hours. It covers the the two um, two different setups. The only thing that's extra is the uplights, and that's thirty bucks per uplight. And you guys tell me. Other than that, there's no like. I need extra mics, extra cords, stuff like that. Like I don't, there's no travel, nothing. So that's pretty much what you get. That's everything that you, you, you need. And I'll put everything in an email for you guys. Uh, so you guys can decide mm -hmm. it. And like I said, would be excellent. and it's something that you guys can decide later on. See, my only other question is you, you would send us over a contract and we would review it, correct? Something along those lines. Yeah, so what I would do, um, if you you guys just send me an email, or actually I can just I can send it over to you on, you'll just say, hey, we, mm -hmm. we would like to book you and reserve you for the day. So then you send over um, the contract and then 40% of the 1195. And then that's all your... Mm -hmm. uh, deposit? Yeah, and that's all your um, signed up for is is the dj portion and then anything extra you guys just kind of let me know yeah if you sent us over a contract or something like that then i would look at it i'd have my parents look at it um just to make sure they're okay with it mm -hmm. and then yeah we would definitely yeah move forward from there probably awesome thank you so much yep yeah if you guys have any other questions yeah. just let me know Sounds good. Well, I'll be looking forward to working with you guys. Uh, check your guys' email. I already sent over the contract, um, and uh, I'll see you guys on your wedding day. All right, so we just got done talking to that client. I was able to go into my email before the conversation was over, sent them over the contract so they're not waiting on it. Um, we got, got to do some interaction on my website. They are in uh, San Diego. So I wasn't able to meet with them. I have a couple other wedding meetings today. I'm gonna to go down and do a site walkthrough and meet with them. This particular client, because they're far away, we're, weren't able to do that. So we did a phone call and doing some interaction on my website with the different tools that help them plan their wedding. So I won't actually meet this client until the day of their wedding. So this is kind of how we do this consultation uh, when you guys are out of town. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys could leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions about this video. If you could give a little thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. Uh, please subscribe. More videos like this to come.